Hello and welcome to week three of Intro to Networking and Web Concepts class. In this class, we will going to be looking at the topics, especially from the networking side, in a little bit of a brief overview with you guys. You can read about the details of these topic in your book. So I'm covering some of the slides here, which pertain to the pages that we are covering for this week. The first topic that we're going to be looking at today is about the differences between the LAN, Internetwork, MAN, and WAN. LAN, which stands for Local Area Network, MAN, which stands for Metropolitan Area Network, and WAN, which starts for, stands for Wide Area Network. So these are three different categorizations alongside Internetworks, which is the fourth categorization. What is LAN, which is Local Area Network? It's basically a bunch of computers connected with each other in a small geographic region is basically what a local area network is. So for example, all the computers that you may have connected in your labs or things of that nature, it's a small geographic region or within a small office buildings and things of that nature. That's what basically local area network is. On the other hand, if we look at the metropolitan area network, the range is a little bit wider, uh, approximately within a 30 miles radius. Things that are connected, for example, sometimes the office buildings are connected or college campuses are connected. Things of that nature that spread out through a little bit of a larger distance than a local area network is pretty much a met metropolitan area network. Um, for the most part, in these days, MAN and WAN are quite interconnected. Um, however, the terminology still exists in some areas. Then we have internet works. Internet works is usually done between the two local area networks. So sometimes what happens is that let's say you have two different labs and you want to connect the two labs. However, you want each lab to still be treated as a, as a separate network. So you can have the two labs within the local area network as to be their own lands and then you can connect both of those lands and we're going to with a third with a third device in between like a router or a switch or something like that we're going to call this kind of environment an internet works so that's what internet works are used for when you want to segment things that way and the last one on our list for the types of networks is wide area network which of course spread as far as global any point to any point connected its wide area network then we're going to be looking at a couple of other terminologies if you um, had an opportunity of running IP config or IP config uh, space slash all in the DOS environment so if you simply go to the start button and in your search box you could type CMD or you could click start and you can go to all programs and then you can go to accessories and then where, that's where you can find the DOS prompt either way um, command prompt when the command prompt opens up this is basically where you are uh, running your commands so uh, this is IP config is basically the command which will going to give you the IP configuration of your computer and slash all gives you all configurations uh, pertaining to the IP config from your computer. So those are a couple of commands that you can actually run to see your IP configurations. The same information can also be seen from the control panel. Uh, if you go under network and sharing, so if you click start control panel, start in the Windows 7 environment, go to control panel, and then network and sharing also allows you to see some of this information. So. Moving on to the next topic, which is packets versus frames. So packets and frames, the idea is that when you're sending information from one computer to another, you do not want to be sending all information at once as one big packet. You rather will decide to break these things up into smaller chunks. These smaller chunks are called packets or frames. Now, a packet is a chunk of data with source and destination IP address added to it. So an IP address is, a, is, is basically four sets of numbers separated by dots if it's an IP version 4 um, or if an IP version 6 and it's a longer address. And a frame is a packet 
with the source and the destination MAC address added to it, which is the media access card address, uh, which is um, um, which we talked about last week. That's available on your network interface card, which is the physical address of your device. So if you want to see your mapping of IP address to your MAC address on the same command prompt, you can run the command APR space hyphen A. So on the prompt, uh, running the commands like APR APR hyphen A will going to give you your address uh, protocol um, uh, address ARP address resolution protocol minus A will going to give you your IP to MAC mapping so that's another way to look at okay which IP is assigned to which MAC so ARP which is the address resolution protocol which allows you to do that so anyway let's move on to the next slide here which is about clients and server another topic talked about in your book uh, client is basically um, any anybody within your environment that has a need and server is anybody who can fulfill the need so client could be in the capacity of an operating system, um, could be in the capacity of a computer that runs applications and access network resources, or a computer that places a request to a server to access network resources. On the other hand, server actually could mean a, a server operating system that means a machine which has a server operating system, which is uh, a software, or uh, it could be a computer that controls other computers, or it could be a computer that responds to the request of the other computers who want to access the network resources. For example, the next slide I'm going to explain a little bit more about client and server. There are two kinds of network models majorly in use. One is called peer-to-peer, -peer, which means that there is no controlling body. A bunch of computers are communicating with each other. Every computer authenticates and authorizes itself, and there is no party that controls. Uh, it's everybody controls themselves. However, they try to access the network resources. On the other hand, a server-based network, also called a domain-based network, allows you to be able to um, access some of this information uh, in, a, in, a, in a fashion that allows you to have a client and a server model where there's a server that controls and responds to the requests of the individuals. So, uh, in a server-based model, you probably could have an individual, uh, a computer, which is responsible for authenticating the users and authorizing them access to the network resources or redirecting them to be able to access the internet and things of that nature. So that's basically the client-server-based network model. So anyway, just briefly, I want to go over the topics. Uh, which are covered in this chapter, but I will still recommend that you read the details about these in the book. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.